While there were 270 exhibitors at last weekend, Southeast Produce Council 2018 Southern Exposure Trade Show and Expo, SoutheastProduceWeekly.com's Chip Carter took to the show floor in Tampa for a look at what's new in the produce world. I'm in Tampa, Florida for the Southeast Produce Council 2018 Southern Exposure Trade Show. 270 exhibitors on the floor. Here are some highlights. Kurt, these vegetables look all dried up. Yeah, well, that's the point. These are dehydrated vegetables. It's all 100% vegetables right here that we have. Uh, we're launching here in May. Uh, what's nice about these items, they contain 90% of the uh, nutritional value. This, this is something you can sit in front of the television and eat at night oh, yeah. and feel really good about yeah. it. Now, Jim, your headquarters are in Ontario. You're a Canadian company, but here we are at the Southeast Produce Council show at Southern Exposure. I think people maybe have some misperceptions. Uh, the Canadian connection here has been powerful for a long, long time, and it's it's just kind of emblematic of the way this, this council works and this show works internationally. Yeah, no, we've been a part of uh of Southeast since since its start with uh, Harold Pavarenta who uh, joined our company uh, eight or nine years ago and we've carried that forward. You know, the folks in the Southeast have always been extremely friendly to us and so we like to spend a lot of good time. The You know, we're all here trying to do business but the social side of the Southeast is probably equally as important to us. So Dan, we've, we've always heard about Irish potatoes, Irish potatoes and everybody associates Ireland with potatoes. You guys are finally bringing the first true Irish potato and the most popular potato in Ireland into the U.S. market. That's correct. The variety that we're speaking about is called the rooster variety. It is Ireland's favorite potato. It's on the bag. 70% market share in Ireland. It's the most grown prolific potato that they use over there, and we want to have it introduced to the American consumer. And this is a situation where we're seeing branding moving into products that have not typically been branded. No, that's correct. You know, the potato category in the United States has had the same players in it for, for several decades, a red, yellow, and a russet. What you're seeing today is an advance on flavor profile and eating experience, and that's what Albert Bartlett is really trying to focus on. So the reason we, we want to announce the rooster so prominently is because we think this is the fourth potato in the category. You know, when you think potato, you got to eat rooster. It's the best eaten potato, Sean Begar. How's that? He's from Tennessee. <laughs> Maggie, we see you guys at a lot of shows. Okay, every show. Right. What's special about Southern Exposure? You know, we love this show. This show is so well organized. It's one of those unique shows that keeps all the participants together. And you know it's a great show when you're able to do that. Mike, that's the tiniest little clamshell of tomatoes I ever saw. Yeah, it's coming in right about two ounces there, buddy. The perfect size for snacking. Well, I didn't think of that. This is like a sweet tomato. It's a very sweet tomato. Six and a half bricks or higher. Generally speaking, they've got 12 pieces of fruit in this container. Now that makes sense, but I mean, I... What am I going to pay for that? A couple of bucks? I mean, I'm going to get a candy bar for a oh, dollar. No, 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 no. Two for a buck is going to be the retail. So what are you doing? Is, is it all tomatoes now? You, you're expanding the line? Well, we got uh, blueberries when they're in season. And then we got some new items we put out this past year, the medley in the tomato out on the West Coast. And now we got the new two-ounce version. And we're going to do blues eventually in this, too. Next up, you'll have watermelons in there. I'm going to work on it. So, Craig, I think the big buzzwords in our industry and around the world now, I think, are, are sustainability and environmental impact. The RPC has a dramatic impact on that. Oh, absolutely. The, uh, you know, we never wind up in a landfill. Thus far, globally, uh, we've, we've taken a half a million cars off the road, basically, uh, based on our, uh, our sustainability model. Now, Kirby, this looks like an old-fashioned farm stand here. We got tomatoes and zucchini and eggplant, and it looks like old-fashioned farm. Bell peppers over there? Yeah, we farm year-round, starting in Homestead, Florida. Of course, our base is in Hendersonville, North Carolina. We grow 52 different items on the farm. Flavor first. That's on all our tomatoes. We want flavor to be number one. The sun is setting on Southern Exposure 2018 here in Tampa. It's been an incredible four days. Uh, a lot of new friends, a lot of new business contacts. We've learned a lot of things. This is the time everybody's going to kick back, put up their feet, breathe a sigh of relief, and wait and do it all again next year. In Tampa, Florida, I'm Chip Carter from SoutheastProduceWeekly.com reporting for RFD-TV. Well, later today, Chip is back with a report from the Florida Strawberry Festival in Plant City. You can log on to southeastproduceweekly.com for the latest updates.